Special forces are special operations forces, are military units formed and trained, to carry out non-conventional, anti-terrorist, reconnaissance, direct action and foreign defense missions. Special forces usually consist of small groups of highly trained, armed with special weapons, who work independently, stealth, at high speed, and with close cooperation. Special forces are also often given the task of training foreign military units, so cultural and language skills are also needed. This term is actually rather vague, because the criteria for special forces may differ from country to country, however, special forces are not the same as elite forces. Elite troops are army units chosen and put together into the same unit. All special forces are elite troops, but elite forces are not necessarily special forces. Elite troops are made so they can do regular army work, but better. The selection process for special forces is very difficult, and usually the training exceeds two years. Some missions also require their own training. Because the special task forces usually covertly, and deal with confidential information, prospective members of the special forces are required to go through a heavy testing process, which has a high failure rate. Because of the secrecy that surrounds their training and duties, special forces have an aura of mystery, and often become a topic of military fiction and action films. And contrary to their well-known profile in the media and culture, members of special forces often refer to themselves as silent professionals. Getting to know the Indonesian elite forces, indeed makes the world shy. In Indonesia there are some very prominent elite troops, such as, Densus 88 or Detachment 88. The Raider Battalion was formed with two Janost Army commanders and eight Koden military leaders. Kapasis or called the Special Forces Command. Saturday 81 slash Galter or Sid Galter 81. Kapaska or Frog Forces Command. Yantafib or called the Amphibi Scout Battalion. Danjaka or called Jalamankara Detachment. Paskahas Orange Berets. Den Bravo 90 or troops with artificial intelligence. However, here we will discuss among one of Indonesia's elite forces which is very great, namely the commander of the special forces or called Kapasis. Because these forces had a lot to play in the real world, like in Papua in the 1950s, the confrontation of Indonesia and Malaysia in 1963, the G30S with the Indonesian Communist Party, East Timor in 1975 and Wailak. The Special Forces Command, abbreviated as Kapasis, whose previous name is, the Regiment of the Army Command, is part of the main combat command owned by the Indonesian Army. Kapasis has special abilities such as moving quickly on every terrain, shooting properly, reconnaissance, and anti-terror. Task Force Cope assists military war operations, including direct action direct attacks to destroy enemy logistics, combat SAR, anti-terror, advanced combat intelligence. In addition, the Task Force for Military Operations in addition to war include humanitarian assistance, AIRSO anti-insurgency operations, separatism and rebellion, assistance to the police slash government, special SAR and VIP security. Warriors can easily be identified by the red berets they carry, so these troops are often referred to as red berets. Kapasis has the motto there, right, successful. In the course of its history, Kapasis succeeded in establishing itself as a special force capable of handling heavy tasks. Some of the operations carried out by Kapasis include DI slash TI crackdown operations. PRRI slash Permesta Military Operations, Operation Tricora, Dwakora Operations, G30S slash PKI Crackdown, Papara in West Iran, Saroja Operations in East Timor, Hostage Acquisition Operations at Anwang Airport Thailand Moila, GPK Operations in Assay, Hostage Release Operations in Map and Duma, Somali Pirate Hostage Release Operations, and various other military operations. Because the mission and operational tasks are confidential, the majority of the task activities rather than the Capasis unit will never be fully known. Examples of Capasis operations that have been carried out and are not known to the public include infiltration of Vietnamese refugees on Gallon Island to help collect information to be coordinated with the United States CIA, infiltrate the Malaysian and Australian borders, and long-distance patrol operations on the Papua New Guinea border. 
because it differs from general units. Units under the battalion are not called companies, but are detachments, units or teams. Capacis rarely involves many personnel in an operation. In order not to be tied to the standard size of the company or platoon, Capacis needs to have its own designation for the unit, to be more flexible. Because Capacis is a special force, in carrying out combat operations, the number of personnel involved is relatively small, not as many as ordinary infantry personnel, in other words not using conventional measures ranging from platoons to battalions. Capacis rarely possibly never carried out operations involving the strength of one battalion at a time. The weapons used by this elite force are Accuracy International Law AK-47 Vanelli M3T Beretta 92SB slash Beretta 92F Brown High Power Colt 1911 Colt M4 FN Herstal 57 FN Herstal May FN Herstal Mimimi FN Herstal P90 Franke Spas 12 Glock 19 Heckler and Koch G3 Heckler and Koch G36 Heckler and Koch HK53 Heckler and Koch MK23 Heckler and Koch MP5 Hindad SS1 Hindad SS2 Hindad SS2V5C QBZ95 Remington 700 6R P226 slash P228 6 hour SIG 552 Stare on Uzi Walther PPK Chris Siebert custom made Fairburn Sykes fighting knife Ultimax 100 The big name and image that was carried by Capasus since its establishment caused many parties to withdraw Capasus to enter into political activities Capasus has always been a nursery for potential young officers who later fill posts in positions of TNA leadership Names such as Benny Mordani, Sentakon Panjidan, Yunus Yosfia, Agam Gumala, Hendro Priyono, Prabhu Subayantu, and others, were officers who were already known to the public, when they were still captain or major, thanks to their achievements in the field. Capacis is also often blamed by NGOs and Western media, and partly proven, and its resolution is unclear to this day, committing a series of human rights violations in Asse, Papua, East Timor and Jakarta. It was this human rights issue that had made the Australian Special Forces, no longer trained with Capacis for several years, before being held again at this time. In 1998, the name Capacis was tarnished in connection with the activities of Team Manwer, who was accused of being responsible for kidnapping activities, and taking the lives of several pro-democracy activists. The name Capacis was smeared again after the May 1998 incident, when a large number of research results were found, an independent fact-finding team found a neatly structured organization within the military, which intentionally and intentionally ignited mass riots in Jakarta and Surakarta, both cities incidentally are base areas slash Capacis headquarters, namely Chijintang Jakarta and Kandang Manjang in Surakarta. In 2007, the problem of the Manwar team returned to the surface, given the fact that 11 soldiers involved six of whom were fired in 1999, apparently did not get fired but continued to pursue careers, moved up and several were known to hold important positions, such as commander with the rank of colonel. The commander of the Indonesian National Army stated that only one of the six officers was actually fired, that is about the greatness of one of Indonesia's elite forces, I personally am very reluctant to the greatness of the command of the special forces. I am proud of Indonesia. Thank you for willing to accompany us.